Find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. And from here, relax your body, noticing if there's any muscular tension that's present. And gently inviting those muscles to relax, to let go of their tightness. Relax your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile. Allowing your physical body to incline your emotional body towards happiness. And allow yourself to enjoy this configuration of your body, being comfortable and relaxed with a smile on your face. Really enjoy that. Begin to involve your mind. See if there's anything kind that you'd like to say to yourself using mental talk. Perhaps a compliment or some kind of reassurance. Just simply saying, I love you. Anything will do. Feel free to be creative. Simply say kind things to yourself in your mind. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind, whatever it is that you like to tell yourself.
You're doing great. I know this thing hasn't been easy that you're going through, but I'm really proud of you. I love you so much. Really care about you and I want you to be happy. Say whatever will resonate for you. whatever extent you can feel your own love, that there's positive emotional affect that arises from this exercise. Notice that and again, really enjoy it. Allow yourself to savor your own love. You can always return here at any time during this meditation or even later. You can always return to saying kind words to yourself. That option is always available. For now, if you'd like, begin to direct love towards your easy to love person or animal, whoever that might be for you, perhaps a friend or a family member, a small child or a pet. You can also imagine someone, a puppy or a kitten panda bear, baby. Begin to direct love towards this person. If you'd like, you can use mental talk in the same way we just did. Or you can use visual images, imagining them being happy. or just feeling love for them, directly connecting to love in your heart towards this person, or even some combination of these. You get to decide how to practice. Simply cultivate love.
And again, to whatever extent you feel love in your emotional body as you cultivate this connection to your easy to love person or animal. Notice that and really enjoy it. Stabilize yourself in this love. Of course, you may or may not feel love in your emotional body. It's no problem if you don't. You're still practicing the technique just fine. But if those feelings arise, really enjoy them. There's a real skill in enjoying whatever pleasure, joy, or love, or anything positive that arises in our experience. And it's important that we learn to be nourished by this, by the love that we cultivate. Take another moment to Cultivate this love. In a moment, we'll transition to the main technique. But if you've established this love in your body, there's no need to set that aside. You can continue to feel, and connect to, and stabilize yourself in this love. And from this place of love, bring into your awareness the existence of suffering. Perhaps your own suffering or the suffering of someone in your life. or an issue that the whole world is facing. Feel your heart as you're aware of the suffering. As before, you can use mental talk or images to connect to suffering, telling yourself about it verbally or bringing up images in your mind. Or maybe you can directly connect to it in your heart, feeling into it.
In any case, allow yourself to connect to compact to your suffering in a way that feels accessible for you now. And use that as a way to cultivate compassion. The awareness of suffering and the desire that that might, suffering might abate, diminish. This isn't a time to fix anything. It's not a time to solve a problem. We simply allow ourselves to notice and feel the suffering in the world. That's part of the experience of being a living being. But that's part of the experience of this world. We allow ourselves to notice that and to feel it without needing to resolve it or change anything. Just being willing to look at it and feel. And however you're connecting to suffering, see if you can zoom out and be aware that the kind of suffering that you're noticing is something widespread, common to many people in many places. There are many people who feel lonely Many people who feel heartbreak. There's many people who are confused about their lives. Not sure what to do. There are many people who are hungry, don't have enough to eat. don't have clean water to drink. We're aware of the suffering of our plant friends and our animal friends. And the very planet knowing that it's strained in so many ways at this time. We allow ourselves to be aware of that suffering on a global level, just to feel it with compassion, wanting that suffering to diminish.
Feel your heart as you cultivate compassion for the suffering of the world. Notice what it feels like to be aware of the suffering, to acknowledge it. Is it acutely painful or burdensome? Does it make you distraught? If so, take care of yourself and switch to a different technique. Perhaps saying kind, loving things to yourself or cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal. On the other hand, if it's not overbearing, if it's not too much, especially if there's a quality of sweetness to it, to this compassion that you're cultivating, allow yourself to feel it and deepen into it. and enjoying the sweetness of awareness of suffering and the connection that comes from that. The love that is fundamental to it. It's okay to enjoy that. Compassion is a wholesome quality of the heart. Discern in your experience what the best way to proceed is.
Very good. Now, look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? If there's anything notable that you can recall that might be useful to you in the future, consider that and reflect on it. So that however your practice period went might be something that you learned from. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 